Welcome to Escape Room Challenges. This one is titled, Oh no, I forgot my locker combination. So here's a peek inside of the playground. We begin at Koala Elementary School. This is the only entrance into the escape room, the only way that they can access the other building. So let's take a look around. Here is the challenge. Now I have already taken down um, the barriers to get from one area to another so I can move around more quickly and show you inside. So there are tunnels and passages leading from one room to another with different tasks. So here is the next challenge. Moving through. Back outside, we have another area that is part of the challenge. And of course, like I said, I already um, have everything ready to go. So this is an area that you would dig up during the class time to find the hidden underwater area and the clue as well. Once all of the challenges are complete, this is where you lead to the board area to place um, all of your answers onto the board. And there is a bonus at the end if you would have extra time. There is a mini scavenger hunt and also whiteboard activities that can also be completed. So, this is a fun challenge to find the locker combination as you work through various tasks. I hope you have fun with this and enjoy. Why is it a good idea to use escape rooms in your classroom? Yes, they are interactive, fun and challenging. Those might be some words that come to mind, but have you considered that escape rooms are completely immersive educational experiences that help develop important life skills, such as analytical thinking and problem solving. Students will not only reinforce their skills, but also deepen them and develop new ones. Escape rooms can also challenge thinking by forcing someone to think outside of the box. Solving puzzles and beating escape rooms can strengthen connections between brain cells, increasing mental speed. And the wonderful thing is that escape rooms can be integrated into any subject area. <laughs> 